Hi, I'm Nicole Fordrini. Here is my sheet with my name and today's date. Today we'll be going over the dissection of the sheep's brain that I just completed. Uh, so I have in front of me the sheep brain. Um, we're going to go over all the parts of the sheep brain. So to begin, there's the left and right frontal lobe, the left and right parietal lobe, the left temporal lobe, the right temporal lobe, and then the back, the two left and right occipital lobe. Um, from there, we have the gyri, which is the giant like ridges over here, and then the sulci, which are the grooves, so the darker like lines where you can see, like kind of following where the gyri separate. Um, so that is the first part. From there we have the longitudinal longitudinal fissure, which separates the two left and right hemispheres of the brain. From there we have the lateral fissure, which is over here, over here, and it separates the frontal and parietal lobe from the temporal lobe. So those are the two fissures. From there, we have the corpus callosum, which is inside when you do the mid-sagittal split. And it's kind of like over here, that like giant hole. It has the bundle of nerves, um, more than 200 million nerves, that connects the left and right hemisphere. So it allows communication between the left and right hemisphere of the brain. From there, we have the thalamus, which is also inside the mid-sagittal cut of the brain. It is over here. That's the body's information um, relay station. Above that is the hypothalamus, which maintains homeostasis for the body. In between, in between is like midbrain over here, where I keep poking. Um, then this is kind of where I got a little bit confused on my part of the dissection because the medulla oblongata, which is kind of a part of the spinal cord, I wasn't entirely sure, but it doesn't seem to be a part of my brain. So I have the cerebrum the cerebellum, and then there was nothing left. Once I pick up the meninges, there's like no like hard part. I know this is part of the spinal cord, but other than that, I didn't really have anything else for my sheep's brain. Um, so I do know, just to explain, it is the pons that are above, and like this is like the pons, and then there's like the spinal cord that runs down, and then the medulla oblongata is underneath, and then the rest of the spinal cord. I don't know why it's not a part of mine. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I messed something up, but physically, this is the three items I have in front of me. This is the third one. So, medulla oblongata, part of the spinal cord, an option. And then I have the cerebral cortex, which is the whole thing. It's all of the lobes. Um, when you cut the cerebellum, you can see the white matter, which is the white lines in between. And then lastly, the meninges, which protects the spinal cord and the brain. It's like a white cover that was a part of the top of the brain. So that is the sheep's brain, the dissection of the sheep brain.